So it has been an absolutely crazy week. It's been, uh, it feels like it's been a long week already. It's Thursday, it's not even the weekend, and, and so there's still another day, and, and the week isn't even over yet. Been a lot of phone calls, a lot of interactions with agents, a lot of interactions with buyers, seller clients, for, for sale by owners. Um, written, written several offers this week, gotten offers this week. There's been a lot of interactions with other real estate agents, and I think one of the things I wanted to just share this afternoon is there are so many different personalities out there in the real estate world. And as I'm writing up communications, sometimes you get involved in, in certain transactions and then you start noticing that there are challenges that come up within a transaction that probably don't necessarily need to be as difficult as they are. So um, when you're choosing your real estate agent, it is really important that my office is back over here actually. So I was just kind of walking towards that space. So I've got a lot of, a lot of things going on in my desk, but we got a lot of nice little workspaces here in our office. So, and we have coffee. So it's always nice to have coffee when you're doing real estate stuff. Um, but in, in the, in the personality, uh, game of, of real estate, you, you have to be able to work with multiple personalities. And uh, when you're choosing your real estate agent, make sure it's somebody that you can work comfortably with. It should be somebody that, that meshes with your personality, somebody that you feel like you're going to be able to communicate effectively with, and somebody who's going to communicate with you very effectively. I've had several interactions with agents this week that have been extraordinarily challenging in that they're not exchanging information or they're, they're providing information that is easily misinterpreted. And when that happens, there's reason for maybe even conflict and or confusion. So I always try to do everything I can to eliminate confusion. Nobody likes to have confusion. I'll ask questions. I like asking lots of questions. I am more interested in asking multiple questions. And if that means that I have to ask a question twice to make sure I get it clear, I'll do that because I want my customer and my client to know exactly what it is that they're getting. Um, you know, whatever that situation is. So it's been a busy week, kind of crazy. I've had some kind of weird interactions with some other real estate agents that weren't very clear or that didn't communicate very effectively. And, and that makes sometimes our jobs a little more interesting, a little more challenging. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy your evening. I'll talk to you soon.